So Regina, you know, I love the portrayal of your character in the film because, you know, Shaft seems like the kind of guy who maybe not too many people are going to stand up to. Yeah. But she has no problem doing that. No. <laughs> Can you talk a little about the, the relationship between your characters in the film? Um, yeah, I think that's, you know, that was so, that's what was so interesting in the opening scene for me was the dynamic where I think you see that Shaft was like any guy who, when he loves a woman, he just, he just has to take what she has to say and... <laughs> Especially when she's right, and you, I think you kind of, you know, see the, f the first time we see Shaft vulnerable, yeah. you know, especially, you know, with, with, well, with anyone, but especially with a female. He's mm. usually a ladies' man, and so I love that about her. I felt like they had an authentic relationship, and yeah. it, she's still a thorn, he's still a thorn in her side, she's still a thorn in his. The yeah. love is still there, but yeah. I just don't like shootouts. No, yeah. <laughs> What's it like playing opposite Sam too during those scenes? Oh man, Sam is great. You know, it's all—it's also really it was the first time I worked with Sam. You know, and Sam has an intimidating presence and voice. So, you know, you've got to create this woman who's not intimidated by him at all. Um, um, but it was great. You know, I learned a lot. I mean, I still watch Sam and watch his work mm -hmm. and his work ethic, and you know, it's like it, it felt like taking a master class. Mm -hmm. So cool. Yeah. And your character's relationship with Jesse's is not dissimilar, although he's a much different guy than his dad, obviously. <laughs> yeah. What well, can you talk about that dynamic? It was really fun kind of seeing the difference between the two generations of Shaft and even the three generations. I think that Richard and Sam's generations were a little bit more um, a little bit more of the of that vibe that you kind of get. But Jesse comes in and it's just a totally different Shaft. Mm -hmm. which I think is really refreshing. You know, we couldn't just have another smooth talking shaft. I think we needed someone who was a little bit different, raised by a single mother, really more in tune with his feminine side and had a little bit more respect for, for life and mm -hmm. nature and all of that. It was a great dynamic to play off of. Yeah, you know, I brought this up to the guys before, you know, a shaft movie in 2019 is a lot different than one in 1971 or even 2000, <laughs> yeah. you know? So I'm curious about your perspective on that and how the film kind of handles that, the yeah. clashing of cultures, so to speak. I mean, I think that's what makes the film work. I think if you didn't have that, that message and that story and evolve, <coughs> but you also realize Shaft is only going to change with so much. So you've, you've got to keep Shaft authentic to who he is, but I thought it was really smart to have him have a son that is really a part of this yeah. current generation. Like, yeah. he's not going to come in and be like smooth like his dad like he is a, he is his own person and though, though they misunderstand each other yeah. <laughs> quite a bit you know there's a, um, a respect that they both learn by the end to really have for each other yeah. and who they are yeah that's what I'm talking about now that music pop son you look like shit how could you look 20 years older than my gray ass Ooh. I need you. Watch my back. Oh, nope, nope. That's some simple bitch shit. Okay. We ain't gonna be here. Oh, damn! Oh, ah. What the fuck are you wearing? You sure? You like pussy? Yes! I like... I, I like pussy, yeah. The way you say pussy don't sound like you like it. Describe what a pussy look like. Look, no, you know what? Too much stuff coming through the... Hey. Have you and me... No, puppy. I remember fucking a black guy dressed like Morpheus from Matrix. <laughs> what was that for? I'm sick of these Lawrence Fishburne comparisons. It's just getting old. Shut your mouth. Rated R. Only in theaters June 14th.